Hi you all gorgeous ladies, this is Dr. K, the guy who talks, I talk about everything reproductive health, uh, but lately I've decided I'm gonna have a bit of a conversation with you ladies because that's all I have there, you guys are the most amazing people and I know that you want to know something about femininity and I will guide you to it, I will show you how to get into your femininity in just 5 steps, so join this, subscribe down below and share with your other friends and let them just learn how to be more feminine. Karibu. Hey, so what are you having today? I'm having some orange juice here today. So grab yours, whatever you're having this. I actually adopted this from a very feminine woman. She's called Dr. Michelle. You should follow her as well. She's on YouTube. So don't say I've copied. I really learned from her. So please just grab yours take your lemon tea get your chamomile get your orange juice whatever makes you happy and let's learn how to get into your femininity like a boss so i'm gonna talk about five senses that all of us need to learn as central femininity uh, uh women who are learning and going along the journey and it's pretty simple there are five senses that we have as ladies and everybody really uh, but I will talk about a sixth one which not everybody really really remembers that we women have a sixth sense and we always say it, that we're just blessed to have six senses so I'm gonna start with the first one and that's the visual uh, and this involves what you see and what other people see about you uh, so this is about what what people can see from you how do you dress how do you wear your makeup what do you wear on your shoes have you been able to do uh, something that will inspire someone visually uh, i would say for example as a feminine woman uh, you sh uh, you can consider wearing things that are colorful uh, not crazy colorful but colors that are associated with femininity and this is bright colors like i would always talk about pink and white and you can decide to wear uh, a strong orange or a strong red depending on your feeling for that day and what you want to take to other people if you want to even uh, maybe you're going for an interview what kind of colors will portray you as a feminine woman and a woman who is still a boss type um, and yes, that's why I think that uh, even as a feminine woman, you can still be a very, very good boss. It doesn't stop you from flying high, from being a boss lady. You can still be a feminine woman up there. So what do you wear? These are the light shades of pink. Uh, we talk about baby pink, uh, white, or even strong pink colors. Uh, I'll try and look for photos on the same. So that's very, very important. Um, if you're wearing a dress, you know, dresses are more feminine. Feminine, uh, a skirt is very feminine, and if you wear a trouser, let it have some feminine details like maybe it's a bow around the, the trouser, or if you're wearing a top, you can still wear something that looks feminine at the top over there. Um, you can even wear an off shoulder depending on where you're going, not on an interview. So, those are the kind of things that you can really inspire yourself, even when you walk out of your house. Do you feel feminine enough? Uh, and if you're in a, in a in an interview do you still look feminine enough you know it's attractive to be feminine uh, what you wear on your shoes uh, you can't wear flats all day every day I stopped doing that I used to do that quite a bit especially being a doctor um, you tend to wear a lot of flats a lot of sneakers so yes that's what I do when I'm at work but after work and if I'm going to church or if I'm doing anything else I'm definitely in heels everybody knows that so heels are a very very nice accessory you can come in all kind of shapes and sizes and colors and now there's these clear ones uh, you can have a peep toe or you can have the ones that have a, a band at the back uh, those are feminine clothes, uh, feminine shoes. So if you're wearing something in the morning, you have to remember what kind of a dress am I wearing? What kind of a shoe am I wearing? Is it feminine enough? Don't wear sandals and walk anywhere with sandals. You need to look good, guys. You need to look good. Uh, so that's the visual. And by the way, I forgot to talk about makeup. 
um, it's not a must to put on makeup to look feminine no 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 you can actually take care of your skin very well I hope all of you have a dermatologist to talk to if you have a breakout or if you have a, I do actually have a dermatologist I talk to every single time I need some help with my skin because you really don't need makeup if you have really good skin good routines with your with your skin um, yeah and then once in a while it's good to have some kiddo go makeup when you're going to a party when you're going to church uh, and it's pretty simple by the way and this is my simplest makeup <laughs> the one I wear like right now when I'm talking to you guys I think I would go more if I'm doing a, a special party uh, or maybe it's a cocktail party that's when I'll probably go a bit more but I'll still stick to amazing feminine colors and that's pink um, uh, a bit of shade of gold here and there so yeah, because of our skin color we have very beautiful skin so you don't always need makeup so that's very debatable but I think that if you can learn how to do your makeup that will be very visually attractive okay so that's vision I'll move to the next one and that's hearing um, so what you hear uh, can, or, or what you make people hear can really really uh, make you in, change you into a more feminine kind of a person um, like for example if I wake up in the morning there are things that I listen to that really boost my mind and make me feel like I'm more attached to my feminine side and this is like jazz music like I really really love jazz Christian music in the morning it really makes me excited about to life encourages me to do well it just has this really nice boosting feeling the flute also I love instrumental music so maybe it's for you uh, you might want to listen to people like Beyonce uh, or watch someone who's more feminine and who can encourage you to be more feminine in life so those are the kind of things that really visually stimulate you to look more feminine feel more feminine and even how you speak to other people makes you more feminine depending on who you're talking to so if you have a really heavy voice uh, or you have a very 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 high voice there's a way you can soften your voice just a little bit like now this time when I'm talking to you guys I've tried to soften my voice a bit because it makes me feel more feminine and it, it, it creates a more feminine experience around me yeah so what you hear what you give out there what other people hear from you makes you feel more feminine and also kind of like creates a more feminine nature around you on to my third one and I'll talk about the two together and this is the, the taste and the smell um, so I'm not gonna talk about taste like tasting somebody because uh, that's not what we're talking about but the smell kind of creates like what you feel in the air like you can even taste the goodness you know so and I talk about fragrances fragrances are amazing like Kim right here the one who does my videos he talks about how he likes this girl and when he went close to her one day like all oh, this time he'd be like okay let me talk to her let me talk to her when he gets there as in the smell <laughs> what you know so this is the thing guys this is the thing ladies smell can really put someone off as in honestly even for guys if you have a bad smell and maybe you don't even know it you don't even know it as in the, those things can really put someone off and if you really have good friends maybe they'll try and tell you in a certain way that the smell is not good or um, you didn't brush your teeth or maybe your hair being you know like having natural hair you don't wash your hair all the time your hair can really really smell up there so the smell is something that really makes can even change everything feminine about you if you look so good you smell you 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 work so good but you smell really bad then it cancels out all your femininity so the smell is important I'll talk about taking a shower twice a day and that is a must if you don't have water wherever you live as in once a day is good enough change your dresses change your clothes use uh, fabric softener all the time change your sheets all the time these are things I'll talk about in this uh, next few weeks about femininity 
uh, and it taken it upon myself because I deal with women and I know the kind of problems you go through and even uh, issues that you have and they are all associated with gynecology and that's why I talk about femininity uh, so yes it's important to smell good look for fragrances that smell like vanilla or strawberry uh, or you know fresh scents like if there's anything that smells like a nice fruity citrus passion uh, plum those are the kind of scents you need to have in your collection uh, you don't even have to have so many you just need to have one fresh scent and one gourmand uh, I said gourmand I hope I'm saying it the right way uh, but there's different types of scents but I really go for the fresh scents really these days because earlier I used to go for the stronger scents uh, but as you grow up and as a feminine woman, you want to smell attractive and, and, and it's open to everyone. You don't want to limit some people because of too much of your cologne. Um, yeah, so how you smell kind of like creates a, a feeling of something you can taste in the air. So those two, two, two uh, senses are very, very important. And then I'll go to the last one, uh, but this is not really the last one, but it's the last one for everyone, and this is the feeling and the touch. Uh, it's important that as a feminine woman, that you need to be in touch with your surroundings. And how is your skin feeling? Do you feel like it's soft? Is it rough? When you say hello to somebody, do you say hello with a very hard handshake? I mean, you don't need to do that. Just be gentle, just say hello. Uh, how are you doing when you stretch your hand although now we have corona so we're not gonna shake hands but your hands must feel smooth all the time and there are ways to do that there's so many ways to do that I'll talk about them if you really want me to talk about these things please comment down below and also uh, ask the things you want to know about femininity uh, so touch is so important again another thing um, to be in touch with your environment you might want to also you know even just walking barefoot in your house or somewhere where there's like nature as in that gets you grounded and it's really really amazing um and i know you know every time you're in socks or whatever as in sometimes it's good to feel the ground it's it's an amazing thing it's a feminine kind of a feeling just connect with nature because we are nurturing as well yeah okay so as i said being women we also have an extra one and this one is so important and we always call it the sixth sense it's not clearly understood but what i would say from my perspective is that anyone can have it and it all comes from god almighty i know that he gives you that sixth sense where you know what is right and what is wrong and it's more common in women really as in you know when to stop doing something you know when something is not right sometimes believe that gut feeling because it could be coming from said god almighty he will help you because that's how it is women we just have that beautiful beautiful grace yeah so i hope you've had a good time this time uh, i'll talk more about femininity in other videos but uh, i need your feedback as well because i know that i am communicating this information to so many other women i really want to get rid of the masculinity that's going on around uh, and just accept yourself you're an amazing woman strong women in the society and you can be a boss lady as a feminine woman so you have a nice time see ya